One issue that may be on the minds of voters come November is education. Governor Christie is making education reform a priority in the lame duck session and beyond. And two candidates who have made education an issue in their campaign for the assembly is New Jersey's 37th district, Keith Jensen and John Aslanian. And they join me now. Thank you both so much for joining us. Something you've both focused on is the Fair School Funding Act. Now, that's legislation being proposed currently in the legislature. Now, now what, you, what would you propose to do? Well, I think it's important for the people of our district to get their fair share. I mean, right now, as we are running to represent our district, and certainly we have 40 districts, and we have assemblymen and senators in each district who viciously fight for their district. In our district, we get as little as a few hundred dollars in some towns in state aid. And in Fort Lee, and Keith could tell you, is, uh, you know, they're, they're teaching out of, like, practically janitor's closets. And uh, yet the taxes go up every year. And, and our question is, what makes a student in Fort Lee only worth a few hundred dollars compared to, let's say, a student in Asbury Park who's getting $26,000 in aid? Is it because these communities are more affluent than other communities? Well, it was about 30 years ago is when uh, the Abbott School ruling went, came into effect. And with that, uh, there has been a, a, a formula that has been very hard to really um, prove. And, with, and they, these Abbott School districts essentially have a blank check. You know, they're, they're Newark's in it, Camden's in it, Hoboken is still in it. But we represent 13 municipalities from Hackensack to Fort it. Lee, all the way up, up to the New York border, and not a single one of them. Angle's not in it, the overcrowding town, Fort Lee's not in it, Teaneck's not in it, Hackensack's not in it. I was in a, in a, a Board of Education meeting in Teaneck, the first week of August, and there are nearly 400 parents upset that they're cutting the funds to, for the school bus route. Nonetheless, Hoboken put in a $25 million swimming pool last year in, the, in, their, in their high school because they are considered at need. You know, they have a W Hotel, they have, they have, a, they have a, a Main Street, Washington Avenue that has very, very few um, rental, re rental spaces that are, that are available, whereas every Main Street area is, has tons of availability. But we want, to bring the, we want to bring the funding back to the kids that we have. We're not, we're not taking away from them. It's just these bloated administrations in these other cities. Are just, it's just not getting to the children like it needs to. Yeah the, bottom, yeah, the bottom line is we need to represent our district. I mean, I can find you a few poor families in Teaneck, Hackensack, and Englewood. But that is are the problem being, that you can only find a few poor families? Few? Let in, me take you for a tour of Teaneck, Englewood, and Hackensack. I grew up in Teaneck. And, and these people, they, they, need, they need aid as well. And it's still unequal and so unfair. We actually ran the numbers, and again, like we were doing various comparisons in different towns, and like again, Fort Lee, Asbury Park, it's they receive 80 times as much aid. It's kind of it's almost comical. It makes no sense. But at the end of the day, aren't we supposed to represent our district? In a district that is really heavily Democratic, are you really kind of fearful of any backlash if you are supportive of the governor and some of his uh, reform? Situations. When we go down to, to uh, street fairs in Angle with block parties, and the, the, the people in the, in, the, in the parties look at us and say, what are you guys doing down here? You know, we, ha we haven't seen so many Republicans come through here and, ha and help us out before. We're Democrats through and through, and we explain to them why our, your representatives think the children in Newark are more important than your children here. And they say, Keith, you know, John, I've never voted Republican before, but I am now because, you know, I'm just fed up with these guys that have been there a decade and they're supporting people not in our district. Yeah, I was in Hackensack Board of Education meeting last week, and I was talking to a teacher who happened to be a minority and uh, obviously a car union member. And I told her, I said, look, here's how it lays out. Hackensack would get an additional $27 million. If we just allocate it fairly and equally, of course, we'll continue to pay our taxes progressively. The rich will still pay all the taxes. The poor will pay none. But, but what's wrong with doing it fairly. I said, look, I understand you'll vote the way you vote. She goes, John, I have two master's degrees. I'm not an idiot. She goes, 27 million more for Hackensack. The next day, she was handing out my literature and telling the other teachers to vote for me. It's just a, every single person, we sp I shouldn't say every single person, but the majority of people we speak to are agreeing with us because it is about our district. There's no reason why the current representatives should not represent their constituents. I mean, they don't represent Newark. Newark has a representative, and they do a pretty damn good job bringing in all that money and but but again we're not talking about Newark but if you want to talk about Newark do they really need 400 administrators making over making six figures gentlemen thank you so very much for joining us thank, thank you, you. who the hell do you think you are uh, move a little bit to, to, to the right